Hello and welcome. In this video we'll be discussing how to build a page from pre-templated elements that can be simply copied and pasted into your own classes. You ready? Here we go. Alright, the first step is to create a location to house all of this content. To do that, we go to our Canvas dashboard. We then create a new course, an empty Canvas shell. If you've never done that before, there's a start a new course button found on, your, on the right side of your page, like this one. So create a new course and give it a name. I'm just going to call this one practice. You're then taken into the new course and it's placed on your Canvas dashboard. The next thing that we want to do is get the design elements into this course. So let's click on the Commons button from the left. This will take us to the Canvas Commons area. From there we're going to, in the search bar, search for Canvas Design Elements 1. All right, and we'll locate that and select it. From there we will select Import slash Download and we're going to place it into this class that we just created. So I'm going to select practice and import. We'll get a message saying that the import has started. We can then navigate back to the dashboard and back to the class that we created. You'll have to wait for a few minutes but after a while the content will be placed into this shell that you just created. All right, and after a while we see that we now have the content in the class. Okay, so let's take a look now at how to use this content to build pages in our own classes. All right, so the first step after we select the Get Started button, um, let's start with uh, background colors. So you'll notice that we can select Edit, and to grab a background color, all we have to do is select the line before the element drag over the element just to the line after and then right click and copy. We can then take that over to our class and paste it right into the class. To delete any lines just backspace. You can delete the content that's already in there. Click enter to make the box larger and so now we have a background. Now let's say that we want to add something else. Let's say um, a header. So we navigate to the header section and select the header that we are interested in. Again, selecting just before, dragging down over to the line after, right click, copy, and then back over to our assignment. Then we can right click and paste. Again, deleting any lines by backspacing. Okay. The next thing that we might want to add is, let's say, a text box. So we're going to go back over to our design elements, cancel the page we're on, go to the next page, and we have a text box. So we can select Edit, give ourselves a little room, drag this corner down. Then if we select the line before, drag over the whole element to the line after, right click and copy. Then we can jump back over to our assignment. and right click paste. We now have that design element in there. Again backspacing to delete any extra line there. There will be a little space in between the elements. Um, Alright, um, the last thing that we might look at here, um, let's say that we want a button. Buttons are actually hyperlinks. You can just um, highlight the hyperlinked content, right click copy, and then go back over to our course and then right click paste. All right. You'll notice that this is a hyperlink. You can change the text name um, or the, the hyperlink uh, for that text. The design elements are mobile friendly so they do size accordingly and here's how easy it is to get in and just change the text. So you can go in and, and type over what's already there. You can type the text in or copy and paste text from, from an assignment. 
and once you save your changes are live and ready to go your students see it and that's how you build a page using canvas design elements